Thank you for interesting me. Yeah. Hi, I'm Eugene from KAIST. Yeah, today I'm gonna talk about the economics of mining. So the actually uh, specifically with one mining hardware, which coin a miner should choose and what is dynamics. So I will answer to these questions in the rest of this talk. Mm. This is a yeah, this is a joint work with Professor Hyungsik and Jinu and my advisor Yongde. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, first, what is Bitcoin Cash? Actually, so Bitcoin suffers from bad transaction scalability. So, several solutions were proposed. However, there was political conflict on these solutions. So, due to this conflict, Bitcoin was eventually split into Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, or BCH. BCH has uh, increased uh, transaction scalability through a simple idea that is an increase on, on a block size. So Bitcoin had one megabyte as a block size, while Bitcoin Cash had eight megabyte as a block size. Nevertheless, they have a comparable mining algorithm. Here, the comparable mining algorithm means the miners can conduct both BCH and BTC mining with or one mining hardware. In this situation, how do miners behave? Actually, rational miners pers always, always pursue a higher profit. So depending on the prof profitability of coin mining, miners can dynamically switch the coin to be mined. If it's the more profitable to conduct BTC mining, then they can dynamically conduct BTC mining. Otherwise, if it's more profitable to conduct BCH mining, then they can conduct BCH mining. Even though the coin mining profitability depends on the both coin price and mining difficulty. However, we should note that predicting of the coin price is quite more difficult than the mining difficulty. So, the, in due to this property, we can observe the sudden large hash power movement only when the coin mine difficulty changes. For example, look at this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I use the ratio? Wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can use the ratio, but. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, so. Look at this, the figure. The, at the start of the gray zone, the BCH Bitcoin mining difficulty uh, decreased. So large hash power moves from BTC to BCH. At the end of the gray zone, the BCH mining difficulty increased again. So because of that, the hash, large hash power moves from BTC to BCH. To capture this behavior, we formally define the fickle mining. So for easier understanding, so you can see this figure. A fickle miner chooses his coin as the easier one between two coins, only when the coin mine difficulty changes. So in this figure at T0, the BCH mine difficulty is high. So large mining power is involved in the BTC mining. After that, at T1, the BCH mine difficulty decreased. So the larger hash power moves from BTC to BCH. After that, at T2, the BCH mine difficulty increased. Because of that, the larger mining power moves from BCH to BTC. Then considering this big mining, what will happen? More formally, what are equilibria in this situation? And how will the mining power change? So to this end, we construct a game and analyze this. There are two types of player. First, many miners with more hash power, and second, political BCH factions. The first type is the usual rational miner. So the so usual rational miner dynamically choose the most profitable one among three strategies. First, Bitcoin mining, and second, only BTC mining, and third, only BCH mining. That is, depending the profitability of a strategy, the miner can dynamically choose the most profitable one. 
we should note that only BTC and only BCH mining implies that they continuously conduct BTC and BCH respectively regardless of the coin mine difficulty. However, the two, uh, however, the second type of miners, political BCH factions are concerned only about the maintaining their systems Bitcoin Cash. For example, we can consider Binmain. Binmain is the biggest company producing mining hardware, and Binmain was the involved in the birth of Bitcoin Cash. So Binmain may be such a faction, and they can only um, conduct BCH mining. In other words, they always choose only BCH mining strategy. This triangle figure represents the state, so where X axis uh, represent the hash power ratio of Bitcoin mining, and Y axis represent the hash power ratio of only BCH mining. Because the hash power ratio sums of Bitcoin mining and BCH mining is less than one, the state should uh, be presented inside the triangle. Moreover, K represent the price ratio between BCH and BTC. We can divide into three zones, so depending depending on the uh, strategy profitability. So in the first zone, it's most profitable to conduct only PTC mining. And in the second zone, it's most profitable to conduct only PCH mining. And in the, fi in the final zone, it's most profitable to conduct FICRA mining. According to the definition of three zones, the state moves along the corresponding arrow. So, for example, you, uh, you can see the first zone. As I said before, in the first zone, only BTC mining is the most profitable. So, miners would change their choice to only BTC mining. And the red arrow in the first zone yeah, goes, goes south westward. So, now I will describe what is equilibrium. So to describe this, I will divide into four cases depending on the hash power ratio of political BCH factions. In the first case, the hash power ratio of political BCH factions is zero. There are two types of equilibria, first the coexistence and the downfall of BCH. The yellow point is coexistence and below the yellow line is the downfall of BCH where there is no BCH lower minus. So BCH, in, in the state of the downfall of BCH, uh, BCH blocks cannot be generated. Moreover, we should note the downfall of BCH from K0 to 1,0. In other words, the heavy occurrence of fecal mining is equilibrium. In the second zone, the hash power ratio of political BCH faction is small. There are also two types of equilibria, first coexistence, and second, a lack of BCH lower minus. And the red line indicates when hash power ratio involving in only BCH mining is equal to the hash power ratio of BCH fractions. Therefore, the lack of BCH lower minus implies that the only political BCH fractions are BCH lower minus. In the third case, when the hash power ratio of political BCH factions is not small, also there are two equilibria as coexistence and a lack of BCH lower minus. And this point is coexistence, and this yellow point is a lack of BCH lower minus. In the final case, the hash power ratio of political BCH factions is large. There is only one equilibria as on lack of BCH lower minus. Here you can wonder why this state represents a lack of BCH lower minus. Because you can think that in that state, the lower BCH mining power is enough. But note that large mining power is possessed by a few entities called BCH political faction. Until now, I, did, I described that there are two equilibria, first, coexistence, and second, a lack of BCH lower minus. By the way, does the state really move in practice according to our theory? What happened in practice? And is the lack of lower minus really dangerous? Actually, in the reality, 
The game between BTC and BCH started on August 1, 2017. This date is the birthday of Bitcoin Cash. So in the gray zone, uh, the, over, the over figure represents the actual data of the hash power, of hash power ratio of Bitcoin Cash. And in the gray zone, fickle miners should conduct Bitcoin Cash. We try to map each state into our triangle zone. To do this, we also collected the coin price and mining difficulty. For more detail, you can see, you can see our paper. And at the game start, the point moves downward, as shown in the below figure. Specifically, the state point is initially in zone first, and then goes down to zone two. After that, the state moved in zone three, where fickle mining is most profitable. So the hash power involved in fickle mining largely increased. In the triangle figure, you can see the red and black arrows. The red arrows means the movement of hash power in agreement with our theory, while the black arrow is the movement deviating from our theory. Actually, we were able to observe some deviations when the state point is close to boundaries of zones. For example, you can see the second figure, so the, you can see the black arrows in this figure. As a result, before November 13, 2017, the status was close to the downfall of Bitcoin Cash. At, and at that time, the Bitcoin Cash state suffered from the lack of rural miners. What does the lack of rural miners influence the Bitcoin Cash system? There are three things. First, worst scalability. The Bitcoin Cash transactions proce process speed critically became low. And it even took four hours to generate one block in some cases. And second, the lower level of decentralization. There are only five miners and only two accounts generated 70% of blocks. And finally, the lower level of security. The system was susceptible to double spending attacks with only one to 2% of the total computational power. As a result, scalability, decentralization, and security, all of them are undermined. However, there was a good thing on Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash system. There was a hard fork in the Bitcoin Cash system. So Bitcoin Cash updated its mining difficulty adjustment algorithm. This change affected the game as an external factor. So in other words, due to this hard fork on November 13, 2017, the status jumped from zone three into zone two. Note that, that, note that in zone two, the status becomes co close to the coexistence. So in practice, the status point gradually became close to the coexistence. This, this is in agreement with our theory. Now, Bitcoin Cash is safe. Actually, there is another scheme called automatic mining. In this scheme, miners automatically choose the most profitable one, and the scheme has already been popular. There is a mining pool called multiple supporting this scheme. And also, because user Bitcoin mining pool supports one button switch function, so user miner can implement the automatic mining without a deep technical acknowledgement. The automatic mining can be st stated again as follows. When the coin price or mining difficulty changes, miners can immediately switch the coin to be mined. Here, what is the difference between automatic mining and fickle mining? Remember that in fickle mining, only when mining difficulty changes, the miners can immediately switch the coin to be mined. Therefore, automatic mining can be considered to be automatically choosing the most profitable one among fickle mining and only BTC mining and only PCH mining in real time. And our game analysis can be applied to the analysis of 
the fig of the automatic mining. Again, consider the triangle figure. This red line represents that the fickle mining hash power ratio is the same as K, which is the price of price ratio between Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin. In the right side of the red line, a red line, all, all arrows move downward. In other words, in that region, the BCH lower minus would decrease. Concerning this fact, we can conclude that when a, fact, when a ratio K of the total mining power is involved in the automatic mining, then the state moves toward a lack of Bitcoin Cash lower miners. Currently, K is about 5%. So Bitcoin Cash is still not safe when 5% of hash power is involved in automatic mining. And there was another hard fork in the Bitcoin Cash system. So eventually Bitcoin Cash system was split into Bitcoin ABC and Bitcoin SV. Between two coins, there was a hash word. This was literally an aggressive word. Actually, this hash word belongs to the fourth case where well, there is only one equilibrium as a lack of Bitcoin cash lure miners. For details of the hash hash analysis, check our paper. Then how about Ethereum and Ethereum Classic? Actually, our, our game can be generalized. In other words, our analysis can be applied to any two coins that have comparable mining algorithms. The only important requirement is that major coins should have a mining difficulty similar to Bitcoin. Currently, Bitcoin mining difficulty is adjusted every, every, every 2016 blocks. So this, this part implies that major coins should adjust mining difficulty adjustment with a relatively long period of time. Currently, Bitcoin, currently, Ethereum has a short mining difficulty adjustment period. So to undermine the miner coin Ethereum Classic, then Ethereum should do a hard fork for mining difficulty adjustment algorithm update. But the update is not hard. So we already observed many successful updates of mining difficulty algorithm. As a result, Ethereum can undermine Ethereum Classic through a mining difficulty of uh, mining difficulty adjustment algorithm update. In summary, through Fickle mining and automatic mining, one major coin can undermine the health of the minor coin. Yeah, thank you so much. Awesome, very interesting talk. Any questions? Let me start, start off with a, with a question. You, you observed a lot of um, fluctuations and a lot of variation yeah. in hashing power. Yeah. Did you consider any mitigations that would allow you to uh, saturate or, or protect against these kind of fluctuations? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, we observed many. Uh, we observed a large fluctuation in hash power, and we can observe so, so data analysis. So, and then um, we can. Uh, we can we can consider this fluctuation as a fickle mining through the coin price and mining difficulty data, and then we can analyze this situation. And going past analyzing, can you mitigate people switching yeah. back and forth and, uh, and reduce the security risks that are exposed? Yeah, yeah. So actually, uh, as I said before, the hard fork of the Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin cash mining difficulty update uh, can be mitigate, mit can mitigate the hash power fluctuation because, uh, because after hard fork, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, after hard fork of Bitcoin cash mining difficulty adjustment algorithm, Bitcoin mining difficulty is adjusted uh, relatively fast. So miner feel annoying to change yeah, coin mining yeah, strategy, so yeah. Right, so, so your answer would be to change the economic incentives to reduce the amount of switching that the miners do. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Cool. Thanks for an interesting talk, Yujin. Yeah, thank you.